it's Rogan Josh today a legendary Kashmiri curry are you a fan <laughs> I'm Aslin Bloor from linsfood.com. Today I'm going to be cooking Kashmiri Rogan Josh. It's an aromatic, mildly spicy curry from the region of Kashmir. It is traditionally red in color, but not spicy. Like so many traditional recipes, the Rogan Josh is going to be just slightly different from area to area, family to family, and waza to waza, or chef to chef. Unfortunately, the Rogan Josh has been butchered to no end outside of India, or outside of Kashmir even, as many traditional recipes tend to be when they leave their homes and go abroad. There are basically two types of Rogan Josh in Kashmir. The Kashmiri Muslim Rogan Josh and the Kashmiri Pandit Rogan Josh. Kashmiri Pandits are Hindus or Brahmins in Kashmir and unlike the Brahmins in the rest of India, they have always eaten meat. There are a few differences between the cooking of the Kashmiri Muslims and the cooking of the Kashmiri Pandits. And this goes for all the dishes you find in Kashmir. The Kashmiri pandits don't use onions or shallots and garlic and tomatoes. Not that Rogan Josh has tomatoes. And the other major difference is in the use of the red colouring. Now Kashmiri Rogan Josh is traditionally red in colour. Part of that is because of the vibrant red Kashmiri, ground Kashmiri chilies that we add to it. Another is the use of two different ingredients. You have Ratanjot, which is the root of the Elkanet plant, one type of Elkanet plant. Now Ratanjot is traditionally used by the Kashmiri Pandits in their Rogan Josh. To use it, we heat it up in some oil, or ghee and then we strain it and add it to whatever dish we want to use it in because the rotten jot is not water soluble another method would be to wrap it up wrap, wrap up bits of it in muslin and then saute it at the end and take out the muslin and pour out the hot fat all over your dish, which is what you're going to be seeing me doing in today's video. Now the other ingredient that is used to impart the color red in Kashmiri dishes is the coxcomb flour or mawal. Celosia, I believe it is. There are various species of it. Now it is this particular coxcomb flour that we use. Fresh, this is the dried version that you would find in Kashmiri spice shops. Now, all I did was dry the flour in my oven and I can now store it for months. However, today I want to, I'm going to be using rotten jaw to impart the color red in our Rogan Josh. Now, Rogan Josh is part of a traditional feast in Kashmir called Wazwan. The word was means cook or to cook. The word one means shop, so a cook shop or restaurant. What Wazwan really is, is a multi-course meal or feast like you've never seen before. The grandest of this of these was ones is the royal was one that has 36 different 
dishes. You can read more about Wazwan and Kashmiri cuisine by clicking on that link to go to my blog. If I were to talk about Kashmiri cuisine, its, its influences, we'd be here all day. So we're going to move swiftly on to the recipe itself. Rogan Josh is traditionally made with mutton. I've got lamb because lamb is easier to get here in the UK than mutton. I love cooking with lamb shanks. Now as you can see here, they're not overly big. So I like to cook the Rogan Josh with lamb shanks and serve it one lamb shank per diner. Now that's a pretty generous amount of meat. If your Rogan Josh is part of a meal and you have other dishes on there, one lamb shank will serve two diners. Now, of course, you can always use cut up pieces of shoulder of lamb, leg of lamb, whatever you can get and prefer. The full recipe, ingredients, amount, etc, etc, just click on that link. So besides the star of the show, the lamb, let's look at the other ingredients that we've got. So we've got onion or shallots. Traditionally, Kashmiri shallots are used. The other aromatics include garlic and ginger, which we're going to pound or chop with a little bit of water to form a paste. So those are our aromatics. Then we've got our spices. Kashmiri chili powder. See how bright red it is. Kashmiri chilies are fairly mild. They're not super spicy, but they do have a little bit of heat. Now besides that, we've got some ground ginger that will lend a sweetness to the dish and a little bit of ground coriander powder. We've got cinnamon sticks, we've got black cardamom, smoky black cardamom. We're going to pound it ever so slightly to allow it to break open to release its seeds and its flavour and aroma. You can read up more about them again up there. And we've got some black peppercorns. Now to finish off the Rogan Josh, you'll see me adding the rotten jaw, heating up the rotten jaw in some ghee, along with some fennel seeds. And this is me. I just like to add a little bit of thinly sliced ginger, fresh ginger slices to the ghee as well. So we're going to saute that up, take the rotten jaw covered muslin out and then pour the whole red oil all over our Rogan Josh and then we'll be done and then you could finish it off with a little bit of freshly chopped coriander leaves if you want cilantro as they're known in the US and besides that we've also got some yogurt we've got ghee salt and some water to cook our Rogan Josh that's it Shall we get our aprons on?